So Newton made three fundamental observations um, about how force works. And this slide has the first two of them. So the first of Newton's observations, the first of Newton's laws, is um, a law that I like to call the law of constant velocity. And that is that objects tend to keep a constant velocity. And here, I mean both in magnitude and direction of that vector. And so why do objects do that? Well, he didn't really say, but he gave a name to this tendency that objects have to maintain a constant velocity. And this name is inertia. And we know this property by measurement as mass. We often call it M, and we use the unit kilograms um, in SI units in this class. So I should point out that it's actually very mysterious why things ma have mass and why they have the mass that they do. And a chemistry class might lead you to believe that there is no mystery in that. We know exactly how much mass all the different atoms have. But if you sort of dig under the surface, that's not really entirely true. It's all measured with respect to carbon-12. That's 12 units. And if you take apart all the parts that make up carbon-12, it doesn't add up to 12. So there's a lot going on in why things have mass at all. And, um, and we're going to use this property a lot, but I think it's worth having a, a fair amount of respect for it in realizing that it's something that's, um, that is fundamental and yet still a topic of much research about why things have the mass that they do. His second law then went on from this idea of constant velocity, and he said not only um, do tense things tend to keep constant velocity, but if they don't, in other words, if they accelerate, then that acceleration of the object is equal to the net force on that object divided by the mass. So what Newton was saying is that if something accelerates, it's because there is this thing, a force, that's put on it. How do you measure force? Well, you can measure mass and you can measure acceleration. How do you measure mass? Well, the way we do it here on Earth is we weigh something. We know acceleration due to gravity, and so um, we can use that to figure out what the force of gravity is. Um, it, the acceleration is proportional to the net force on the object and inversely proportional to this idea of mass. So something, two objects can have the same force on them, but have a very different reaction to that force in terms of their motion if they have different mass. Now, let's say a little bit about notation here. F net in this case means the sum, Greek letter sigma, of the forces on the object. This is going to be a game of prepositions here. The force on the object. If you add all those forces up together, that's the net force. And these forces are vectors. So we have to add them as vectors, because they are vectors. So the net force is a vector, which means then, of course, the acceleration is a vector. Mass is actually a scalar. It's just a quantity. It just has an amount. It doesn't have a direction. OK. So if we're measuring the net force on the object divided by the mass of the object, in fact, let's just write it here, mass object, that means that we're measuring the acceleration of the object. So we say F equals MA, but that's shorthand for a lot of understanding here on Newton's second law.